Hi, good morning, it's Louise here. Um, strange time for me to do a Facebook Live. I'm actually uh, waiting to have my hair done. I've actually just arrived at the hairdressers. Normal people would uh, probably do a Facebook Live and they've had their hair done, but I'm, uh, I've just got a few minutes now. I've just seen a very, very dear client of mine, um, just, just really over a coffee. She's been through quite a traumatic time in her life and I lost her. Her dog, which can be more traumatic in some ways um, than, than losing a person, you know, um, a person. So it's been a it's been a start to the day, but it was good to see her. Good to see her. She's a very, very brave, very brave lady. But today I wanted to talk to you about arguments and how we can diffuse them and how we can stop the same old thing. And this one is to change your language, okay? Because quite often we tell people what we want them to do, what we'd like them to do, how we'd like them to behave. Would you please do the dishwasher? Could you please lay the table? Would you mind dropping Johnny off? Can you do this? We are effectively telling people what to do. And no one wants to be told. Well, in reality, we don't want to be told what to do. We like an invitation. So just change your language around this and come from the word of I. So start with the word I. I would really like it if you could empty the dishwasher. I would really like it if you could take this washing. I would really like it. So really just be very aware of your language. Uh, and it might just change things. You can only try these things. So just try starting your sentences with the word I. Because it's something you want and perhaps it's not something other, the other person is really that bothered about. So that's the first thing. The second thing is we are not in the game of trying to change other people. But effectively, that's what most of us are doing. We are really trying to... Um, I can't see that message on there. There's a message on there. Sorry. We are really trying subconsciously to get others to agree with us, to see life from our shoes, to do things that we want them to do. So subconsciously, we are trying to get people to change. So to diffuse an argument, to stop one brewing, to nip one in the bud, when someone says something that you don't really like, you don't agree with, don't go into your same old pattern and tell them, but I see it like this, but there's a better way, etc. Agree with them, okay? I understand where you're coming from, even if you don't really, but it diffuses the argument. It will take the sting out of the conversation. You agree with them. Now, you're not a doormat. It doesn't mean that that is your opinion. What it means is you see it from that person's perspective. And then if you are invited, to express your opinion or if you think it's the right thing to say, well, I would actually do A, B, C, D and E, you will change the whole atmosphere of that conversation because you are not telling them, not trying to manipulate them in a subconscious way, not consciously, to do things the way you want them to be done. So really just try and do that. I understand where you're coming from. I get that. I see that and then express yours, okay? So that's the second thing you can try. And the third thing is it isn't always about you. You know, I was told this very early on in my healing and it was, it was quite an eye-opener for me that, wow, you, the, you know, that when you text somebody and they don't text you back and when you say something um, and that person responds in a way and, and when we think of things about us, you know, if somebody doesn't smile at us in a certain way, they don't like us, or somebody doesn't tell us something, or it's all about us, but you know what? It isn't about, most of the time, it's got nothing to do with you. So I want you to take yourself out of that situation, and it isn't about you. More often than not, it's about them. They walk in from work in a really bad mood, and you're excited to see your partner, your other half, and you take it personally. Well, that person doesn't really love me. That person doesn't really like me. That person doesn't really want to see me. It's got nothing to do with that. Pure fact is, they've had a really bad day, you know? And it's about them and their job. So try and take yourself out of the situation. 
And there is actually a last one that some of us, if we are feeling brave and really courageous, and it was this particular lady I was discussing this, um, she reminded me of this earlier actually, of something she had done herself, and it was a hugely courageous um, act at the time. If that person is really bawling at you and letting off steam and shouting and what have you, do you know what you can actually do is to give them a hug. Now it's a really brave thing to do because you don't want to do that. It's the last thing you want to do, especially when you're full of anger, you're annoyed, is to just hug them. And actually it will diffuse it as well. So what you're trying to do here is take control of your emotions and you are teaching by behavior. And this is how we do, this is what we do, this is how we help others is through our behavior, not by sitting down and telling them. We help ourselves in return because we get a different reaction and we help them because they get a different feeling from us. So it's all about our emotions. So I'd really encourage you and I'd love you to try any of those three things and do let me know. Do let me know what works for you. It may not work the first time, may not work the second time, but you know what, keep going. You're building a new neural pathway here. So I hope those have helped. I'm now going to see my favourite person, one of my favourite people, to get rid of all my grey roots. I don't like grey hair, so this is one little treat. I, uh, I come here every six weeks and I just love it. So I'm going to go in through and have my hair done now. Looking forward to. So thank you very much for listening, whether you're live or whether you're going to have a listen later on. As always, I love your comments anything you know please express yourselves here in the group ladies this is a very safe place we've got the anonymous posting if you don't feel it's right for you to put your name to a post just send it into privately either to myself or to Jill or other fantastic uh, admin lady just get your message out there put it out on the writer post put it out there in the group connect with other people. You know, this is what this is all about. It's all about collaboration. It's not about trying to work it out by yourself. I tried for 35 years, ladies, and it didn't work. So really take the step and ask for help. It's a huge step of courage. And let me know how you've got on, if you are able to just change your language, change and perhaps fermenting argument that could be brewing up there. You take charge, you be in control. Thanks so much ladies, take care and have a great day. Bye for now.